Welcome back to Toledo Clinic TV, where our guest is Dr. Christopher Perry. He is an ear, nose, and throat specialist. And you're here today to talk about really a revolutionary procedure for patients who have chronic sinusitis. First of all, tell us what the old procedure was like. Sure. Well, thank you for having me come on and, and, and speak to you today. Um, as you mentioned, I'm an ear, nose, and throat specialist, and I'm also board certified in facial plastic surgery. So. Uh, the, the focus of my practice is allergy and nasal and, and uh, sinus problems that many patients in our area uh, suffer from. So uh, years and years ago, the, the traditional and really the only technique for patients who failed medical therapy, patients with sinus problems and sinus infections and uh, sinus headaches and nasal congestion and, and uh, loss of smell and, and, and drainage was uh, traditional endoscopic sinus surgery, which uh, still is, is used today in, in, in select cases, but uh, that involved using a, a rigid endoscope and rigid instruments to, to look inside the nose and to physically remove diseased tissue from the inside of the nose and inside of the sinuses. And uh, while there's still a place uh, today for, for that technique for, for some patients, uh, some of the problems with that procedure is that it, uh, it was painful, it led to post-operative scarring. It uh, often required very painful nasal packing. And so it, uh, uh, for, for many patients, it, it just wasn't very popular and it, it fell out of favor, so. So the new procedure uses a balloon? The new procedure called balloon sinuplasty. It's, uh, it's not really new anymore. It's been out for uh, over a decade now. There's been millions of patients that uh, have undergone the procedure. And uh, I've been fortunate to performed thousands of these procedures in the Toledo area over the last uh, 10 to 12 years, um, help a lot of people out uh, who've, who've suffered for a long time with chronic sinusitis with some of these symptoms that we, we talked about, the uh, nasal congestion and sinus pressure and drainage and recurrent sinus infections and headaches. And uh, so balloon sinuplasty, it, um, it's different because we use uh, a scope to look inside the nose to place a, uh, a flexible a balloon uh, through the nose into uh, and through the, the sinus drainage pathways. And then the balloon is inflated much like angioplasty for the heart. So that uh, small balloon is inflated and what that does, it, it, it opens up the sinus drainage pathway and uh, it does it without having to physically remove any tissue. And what that does, it allows the sinuses to drain better. It, it allows the body to function the way uh, it's, it, it, the, the body was designed to, to function. and so. Uh, the nice thing with balloon sinuplasty is that it's, it's, it's quick, it's easy. Um, it it uh, often does not lead to uh, any post-operative scarring or need for nasal packing. And so that just translates into patients can, can uh, feel better faster. Is it permanent so once you've it done is. it? It's a, it's a permanent procedure uh, that it's not designed to be done uh, over and over again. In select cases, you know, sometimes uh, we do have to perform it again if, if people have really bad um, sinus problems. But by and large, it's a one-time procedure. And now, uh, over the last several years, we've uh, brought that technology to the point where we can perform it in the office. So uh, it's, a, it's, it's exciting that we can bring a, a patient right into the office, and which is local and topical anesthesia while they're completely awake. Uh, perform the procedure uh, virtually painlessly, much like a, a patient who would go to the dentist to have a, uh, a root canal or a, a tooth filled. Uh, while that's, you know, nobody likes to, to do that, but certainly we've uh, evolved to the point where you don't have to be put to sleep to have, uh, to have a, uh, a tooth filled for a cavity. And so uh, in select cases, we can take patients, uh, uh, take them uh, right over their lunch break, uh, bring them in, have, have this procedure done, which takes about an hour. Uh, they leave, they can drive themselves home, they can uh, resume normal activities within uh, a very short period of time. So the, the technology uh, has evolved tremendously, and so it's, it's really a fun time to be an ear, nose, and throat specialist because uh, I have a, a fun job. I get to help people to, to feel better, to breathe better, to smell better, to sleep better. So. Uh, I'm, I'm thankful for this technology because it, it just allows me to do a, a better job and help a wider range of people. So, who would be a perfect candidate for this procedure? Well, this procedure uh, is, is often uh, performed on children as well. The, the youngest age that I've performed uh, balloon sinuplasty, I think, is age three for uh, a young child that had uh, chronic sinusitis. But um, the oldest age, I think, was about 93. So, it's a it's a procedure that uh, can be used. Uh, safely, effectively, um, 
quickly on uh, a wide range of, of patients, really. Uh, we'd want to do a CAT scan first to see if they do have um, any evidence of uh, an acute inf uh, sinus infection or uh, evidence of chronic sinusitis. And uh, if they failed medical therapy, that's certainly we want to we want to do everything we can for these patients first. And but if they failed medical therapy, then uh, this just gives me another tool in my toolbox to to be able to to really tailor the therapy, tailor the the surgical procedures appropriately. So again, years ago we had this uh, one size fits all uh, procedure, the traditional sinus surgery, which everybody got if they fail medical therapy. And nowadays we just find that there's some people who fail medical therapy, maybe their sinuses aren't as bad and they don't need that aggressive procedure. So uh, it's, it's just nice to have an extra tool in the toolbox to help people out. It's a better option for them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So, thank yeah. you, D Dr. Christopher Perry. Thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. And we'll be right back.